guys this is another halloween tutorial if you like what you see stay tuned so right here i'm drawing a white line on my face just to give me an idea where am i gonna be keeping my regular makeup and where i'm gonna be doing a skull and as you guys can see i wasn't pleased on how i drew that line so i'm gonna ahead and do it one more time until i'm happy on how it's coming out now you guys go ahead and play around sometimes you want to have more of your regular makeup showing or you want to have more skull showing it's up to you just play around and i'm gonna go ahead and draw my eye socket now i'm gonna be making it really big to show kind of like a scary skull once i'm finished with that i'm gonna be applying my fenty primer just on this side where i'm gonna be doing my makeup you guys i love this primer it feels so good on your skin and it makes your makeup look flawless now we're going to apply our foundation and I like to mix my Maybelline Superstate with Huda Beauty. I love a full coverage foundation. Once we're done with our foundation, we're going to use Born This Way concealer. You guys could use whatever you have. I actually like my Tarte Shape Tape, but I ran out of it. So we're going to use this one and we're just going to you know, blend Make our face elongated by going all the way to your temple. Let's not forget about contour and I'm using the L'Oreal Shaping Stick. We're gonna blend that out and we're gonna use translucent powder. I'm actually gonna put translucent powder all over my, my makeup, not just the areas I highlighted. I'm actually gonna put it all over. I left it for two minutes and now I'm gonna dust off the excess product followed by contouring I'm using Fenty Beauty bronzer I love this product also you guys you guys the reflection in my mirror is not what you're thinking I swear it's my beauty blender okay anyways now we're gonna go ahead and do our brows and I'm just gonna show you guys how do I start but then I'm gonna go off camera and finish it off that's how the eyebrows be looking let me know if you guys want a tutorial on that so after that we're going to be using our james charles palette and i'm going to speed it off because i just did something really simple i just added the burgundy shade added a little bit of brown on both corners and let's not forget about highlight I mean glitter I love glitter let's put some urban decay glitter let's not forget about our lashes and that's gonna be the look for my eye hope you guys like that and we're gonna keep on working on the other side of the face the skull area so we're gonna go ahead and draw two lines and they're gonna be the upper and lower jaw. You guys don't have to do it so perfect. But if you wanna guide, you can um, press against your cheek and kinda feel your bones to give you a guide where your jaw is at. And once we're done with that, we're gonna cover our face with white paint, except the hollow of our cheeks and the socket of our eyes. So I'm just gonna speed it up, use brushes, whatever you guys have in hand. I love Halloween. I love making my own costumes, my own props. I feel like a kid again. So now that we have the white paint all over our face, we're gonna go ahead and paint the hollow of our cheeks black and our eye socket.
I'm gonna set my face with this green marble sealer. You guys, this stuff, it's really strong. Do not use it every day, but you could definitely use it if you guys are gonna be sweating in a humid environment. It's really great. We're gonna go ahead and do our nose. And for our nose, it's really simple. It's like a triangle shape. And let's just fill that out. And we're gonna work on some expressions in our skull, trying to make it look scarier. And we're gonna keep on adding details to your face, play around, add some cracks, add shadows, whatever you guys like. Just have fun while doing this look. I'm gonna go ahead and do my teeth. I feel like the teeth is what gives the skull like the complete look. I don't know, that's what I think. And I had fun doing these teeth. They didn't come out to be perfect, but you know, that's the idea. done you guys just keep on adding more cracks and after that i'm gonna go ahead and add black paint on the bottom of the jaw kind of like when we do our makeup we're gonna separate and define our jawline now we're gonna paint our neck leaving the middle part blank because we're gonna do that, we're gonna turn that into like the spine. So it doesn't look like our head is just floating on air. Although you could do that if you're gonna wear like a turtleneck or something like that. But for now, we're gonna make it look like it's our spine. Hey guys, this is the final look. I hope you guys like it. I'm gonna go ahead and take some pictures and stay tuned for more videos.